So the big picture for this lesson is solving by completing the square. It's a special procedure you can use for solving quadratic equations. And here I have a complete the square visual model all set up, and there's an equation ready to solve. So the basic idea is that you want to make this equation have a pattern of a perfect square binomial. And then what you're going to do is you're going to solve by taking the square root. So when you have a perfect square binomial, you're going to have to divide this middle term by 2. So when you're setting this up, the first thing you need to do is divide this middle term by 2. And then it's going to go over here. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm going to have a 2 here and then another 2 here. Okay. Now for the perfect square pattern, that tells me that I'm going to have to have a 4 here because 2 times 2 is 4. And just to complete the pattern here, x times x is x squared. And then there's going to be a 2x here and then another 2x here. And this can also be an algorithm for factoring. But anyway, I need this term to be a 4, not a 9. So what I can do is I can simply do this. x squared plus 4x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to subtract the 9 from both sides. And get that. So then my next step is going to be to add 4 to both sides to get my pattern. x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 9 plus 4, which is negative 5. Now the reason why I didn't just subtract 5 from both sides is because sometimes you're going to have complicated equations here, and it's a good rule to just get rid of the c term first by subtraction and then continue from there. So now I'm going to write this as a perfect square binomial, x plus 2 quantity squared equals negative 5. Okay, and then I'm going to solve by square root. So square root both sides. If I square root this side, it's going to be x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of this side, which is negative 5. Oh, looks like there's going to be complex numbers going on here. So x plus 2 equals plus or minus i square roots of 5. To finish solving for x, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So that's going to give me x equals negative 2 plus or minus i square roots of 5. Okay, so those are my solutions for this equation x squared plus 4x plus 9 equals 0. And notice that they're complex conjugates. That's what happens when you solve a quadratic by square roots involving complex numbers. You're always going to get complex conjugates. And that's the big picture for this lesson, completing the square.